What's happening guys? What's happening? I know I haven't shot a video in a while, but I'm back. <laughs> I didn't go anywhere. I've been fighting. I have been fighting a virus, you know, um, not really a virus. I believe that the exchange actually put the virus in my computer, right? And if you think that's some conspiracy shit, just then think about it. The type of virus that I had is called a root kit, R-O-O-T-K-I-T. It allows the hacker to look at my screen just as clear as you see my screen to listen to whatever is going on in my house through my phone. Right. And I'm convinced I am convinced beyond a shadow of a doubt that an exchange put this shit on my phone and in my computer. And you're probably hacked, too, if you want to verify if you are in fact hacked especially if you deal with any of these exchanges binance ftx bybit margix um, kucoin any of that kind of shit like that go to your computer press this window symbol and r and type in the word temp or type in the word prefetch p-r-e-f-e-t-c-h prefetch and if you see a whole bunch of shit populate, I want you to press control A to highlight it all and then delete it. And I want you to sit there for a second. If it repopulates, guess what? They put a root kit in your system too. So when, when you guys been losing money, when we've been losing money, right? Because this is where I'm at. This is this is this is the litigation I'm about to bring. I believe that the unfair advantage that they created was in placing malware on our computers. Right? Because I caught one of them. I actually caught one. I have his name. Um the guy from India, man. I'm 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 going to post it where you can see it, right? Caught his ass. <laughs> I told him I was going to catch him, right? Got his full name, Kumar Kush Singh, some shit like that. But caught him, right? Um, caught him using his work email. You know, he worked for Adobe, and hacked my shit, right? But. The thing about it is I was able to track everywhere and everything that this guy did. And his most active times was when I was on KuCoin exchange or FTX exchange. And I'm about to narrow it down because I'm always on one or the other and also Markix. And I'm about to narrow it down. All right. But it's my belief, guys that these exchanges placed viruses in our computers to give themselves a competitive edge to watch us to stalk us you ever notice that the moment you get up and go to the bathroom or something you know go get a sandwich that's the moment shit goes out the exact moment that guys that shit is not coincidence <laughs> it's not coincidence they're spying on you and if you don't believe me, like I said, just simply test it. Hit the Microsoft symbol on your keyboard and R in that little search bar right there. Type in the word prefetch or temp, T-E-M-P. And if a whole series of codes pop up there, you are hacked. Fucking hacked. Look at my shit done cut off. A whole bunch of ghouls pop up there. You're hacked. You're hacked. And an exchange put that shit on there. So, just give me all the heads up. It's your boy TJ. I'm still here. But that's the claim I'm bringing. Right? Because they have too much intel. There's too much weird spooky shit that goes on here. That don't go on anywhere else. Forex. It don't go on it. Options trading don't go on anywhere. Right? All of a sudden you're about to get liquidated and then all of a sudden a whole surge of people come wipe you out. 
Come on. Come on. And they know it's bullshit. So, I just want to drop in and let you know I'm still here. Check your computer. Because I've been dealing with a hack since December the 6th. I just caught the fucker in my computer. And um, go check yours to see if they're in yours too. It's your boy TJ in New Orleans.